Hello. Today is the 2nd of May. We could call it Ray Day. Uh, because this is Shyotujit Rai's birthday. If he had lived, he would have completed 99 today and stepped into his 100th year. Next year will be his birth centenary. Now, we all know about Shyotujit Rai that he was a great filmmaker, put India on the map of the world as far as cinema is concerned. We also all know that he wrote a lot of children's stories, Peluda in particular, Shonku, all kinds of stories which are very, very popular. But uh, what is not that well known about him is that he was a wonderful translator. Um, now, here today I'm going to read uh, one of his translations from his father's poems. His father was a Shukumar Rai, who was extremely well known in Bengal as a nonsense uh, rhyme and prose writer. <clears throat> and uh, what is wonderful is that Ray has translated his poem, poems, um, keeping the rhythm intact. That is really quite wonderful. It's very difficult to do that. I mean, I've tried, I know. So today I'll read the, a very famous poem of his to you. And then I'll read the translation. Gof Chudi. Head officer Boro Babu Lokti Boro Shantu Tarche Amun Mathar Bemo Keukokuno Jantu Dibbi Chilen Koshmeja Je Chair Kani Chepe Akla Bushi Jim Jimie Hotat Gilen Kepe Atke Ute Hatpachure Choktikore Gol Hotat Bolin Gelum Gelum Amai Dore Tol Taishuneke Bodhi Dake Keubahake Pulish युवा बोले कामरे दे बे शाब्दानी ते तुलीश बस तो शबाई इधी को दी कोचे घोरा घोरी बाबू हाँ किन ओरे आमर गोप गिए चे चूरी गोफा रानो आजूब कथा था वो की हाई शुद्धि गोफ जोड़ा तो तेम नहीं आचे कॉमेडी एक रोती शबाई मिले बुझिए बोले शामने धोरे आए ना मोटे वो गोफ होइनी चूरी कोखुनो ता होइ रेगे आगून तेले बेगून तेरे बालें तिनी कारो कथा का धार धारी ने शब्ब बैठा के चिनी नोंगरा छाटा खेंगरा झाटा बिच्छिरियार मौला एमुन गुप्त रक्त जानी शैम्बा बुद्धिर गौला एगु फ़्चुदी आमार बोली इश कोर्बो तो दे जबाई ऐना बोले जोरी माना कोल्लें तिनी शबाई भीषण रेगे भीषम के दिलें लि� काउ के बेशी लाई दी तेनी, शबाई चड़े माथाई। ओफिसेरी बांधूर गुलो, माथाई खाली गोबोर। कुफ चुड़ा जे कुथाई गालो, के उराखे ना खबोर। इच्छे करी एई बैटा देर कुफ थोरे खुब नाची। मुख्खु गुलोर मुंडो धोरे कोदाल दिये चांची। <laughs> These two last lines. Gof ke bale tumar amar gof ki karo ke na. Gofe rami gofe tumi tai diye jai che na. They have become immortalized in Bengali language and have become part of the lingo actually. Spoken of course in jest. Now uh, Ray has done a wonderful, Shruti Jitrai has done a wonderful translation uh, of this poem called The Missing Whiskers. They always knew the boss Babu to be a gentle fellow. What happens if he, in a jiffy, turns all blue and yellow? He was seated in his chair, relaxed and free from care, indulging in his post-meridian nap, when without a warning, in the middle of his yawning, something right inside him seemed to snap. With muffled cries, he rolled his eyes and threw his arms about. Alas, I'm sick, come save me quick, was what he sputtered out. They heard him and they all began to cluster around the stricken man and pondered on the safest plan to bring him to his senses. Call the police. No, the vet, his partner said, he seems upset. But careful, he might bite yet, said his amanenusis. But Boss Babu, his face all red and swollen, now declared, my moustache has been stolen. Stolen whiskers? They all cried, the Babu must be pacified. And so they held a mirror to his face. There, sir, they said, you see your whiskers where they used to be? Who would dare to put you in disgrace? Babu now began to scream, you dunderheads, I would not dream of ever wearing whiskers so outrageous. 
They make me look like a shaggy butcher. Know this, in the near future, I ought to know I must reduce your wages. This he did, and then, at random, he composed a memorandum. Herewith quoted minus appendages, If you think your employees deserve your love, correction please. They don't. They're fools. No common sense. They're full of crass incompetence. The ones in my establishment deserve the highest punishment. They show their cheek in not believing. Whiskers lend themselves to thieving. Their moustaches, I predict, will soon be mercilessly picked. And when that happens, they will know what man is to mustachio. Man is slave. Moustache is master. Losing which, man meets disaster. So, uh, this is this is really one of the most uh, wonderful things is that Ray translated his father's poem. So these are the, this is the great tradition coming down from father to son. Thank you for listening.